<clears throat> hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Marshall at Fitness. Um, I've been without a job lately, and I've been filling out applications left and right. I got a job interview tomorrow um, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, basically, hopefully things turn out good. Um, for me on this, I had to get up. I'm still staying motivated. I still do my training. Um, I've been trying to post a lot of new content on my channel and stuff like that. I'm trying to do different things into my workouts, try to mix it up and stuff like that. I, I just, I just pretty much, you know, go go with the flow of life anymore. I try not to worry. I try not to stress that much. Um, It's just the fact that when, when you're not working or anything like that, it's just the fact that when, when, um, hold on, my dog's barking. Be still. Be still. Lay down and be still, boy. Lay down and be still. Listen to Dad. Lay down and be still. Good boy. Um... Sorry about that, I had to tell my dog to be still while I'm making this video, but as like I said, it's just, um, I just pretty much been searching for jobs, man, online all day long, trying to find something, and I finally got a call back from one job, and, you know, I'm willing to take anything right now to make some money, and... I don't care what it is right at the moment. Um, it's just right now I'm just needing to make some money where I could start paying bills. Um, I'm doing work for my grandma. She's been paying me to help out do, do work and everything where I can't pay my bills and stuff like that. She, you know, she's been helping me out a lot. I mean, even though I don't live with her, I live down the road from her. If it weren't for her, I still wouldn't have internet. I wouldn't have food on the table. I wouldn't have um, a phone to be able to contact people that I need to contact on. And she knows I need a phone. She knows I need Wi-Fi to be able to have internet to keep searching for jobs if I don't get this job tomorrow. But I'm not going to put myself down. I'm going to have my high spirits up tomorrow for this job interview tomorrow. Because I'm needing something really quick. Um, I don't care, like I said, what it, what it is. I put a position in dietary. I've done dietary before in the past. And, you know, that was like a long, long time ago. And But I had moved, so I had to quit that job. Otherwise, I would have still worked, been working there. If I didn't have to move in my situation seven years and that's the thing you know every time every time when I get a setback I don't let it bother me um, I try not to let it bother me too much because I got friends pulling for me I got family pulling for me um, I got my YouTube family pulling for me, my Facebook family pulling for me, my Instagram family followers pulling for me. I'm finding a job. Um, I'm very, I'm starting to be a little bit more popular and everything on social media. Um, but the thing of it is, it's just staying motivated, staying positive is the main thing in life. Just live at it, just go with the flow. What, be water, be still boy, be still, go with the flow, be like water, and let things go as they come, because I learned to realize you can't control everything in life, things happen for a reason, and when things do happen in life, you cannot control it. Because when you cannot control it, 
Be still, boy. Lay down. Lay down. Be good. Lay down. Be still. Um. <laughs> Basically, it's just the fact that, uh, you go with the flow, try not to let it disrupt your flow of life. And that's what I'm basically saying is that no matter what if you're not working, no matter what if you're um, having financial problems or relationship problems or whatever it may be, um, things will work out, things will come to a purpose, things will come to more motivation um, because no matter what in life I have looked back on a lot of things and I've learned and I've met amazing people in my life and I'm still their friends to this day no matter what and you know we talk on the phone every day we talk about different things and it's just always good to have someone to talk to on a lot of things that you want to accomplish. But it's just... When... When you know you feel like, you know... You wonder... Why... Things always happen to you. Well... You know, there might not be an answer, you know, why it happens to you. But it happened for a reason, but you can't you can't control the outcome on why it happens. You just gotta let it happen, accept it, man up or man and woman woman up or whatever, accept it and move forward. And that's all you need to do is move forward, keep pushing forward, keep striving to do better the next time once you know you get back on your feet and I learned to look at things at a perspective way of things not just say oh poor pitiful me not say oh my life sucks now because I'm not working um, and that's another thing you know a lot of people say oh it's because I'm not working uh, you want people to feel sorry for you. Well, really, technically, the reason why you're not working is your own fault. And you just got to learn to accept that because of your actions that you might have done. And so, hopefully with this job interview, hopefully I get this job because I've been filling out 100 applications in online and stuff and I have no luck yet I'm still trying to get on at Walmart and Eldon still haven't had no luck with them yet um, but no matter what I'm still going to try I'm still going to keep pushing forward um, no matter what the setback is my old job my last job that I worked was at Taco Bell at Eldon they closed down permanently um, they don't they don't even have a business no more, and that that was my last job I worked at. And and before that, I worked at Town and Country. It didn't work out for me there, um, in Iberia. And then I worked at McDonald's and Eldon. They weren't giving me the hours, so I had to go somewhere else for more for more hours. And then, and then before that, I were that woods overnight. at stalking for two years. I, I mean, I've been over a, a lot of jobs lately, and I had some job, a lot of job experience. But the thing of it is, nobody. You know, they say they want to hire you, but nobody really wants to hire you. And, you know, they have these hiring signs, but you get all these people in there, you get you go, go in and fill out an application, but yet they don't want to call you. And I was just lucky enough that 
I got a call this morning from a job, and I called them back because I was asleep, and I didn't even hear my phone go off or nothing, and so when I didn't hear my phone go off, I was just like, okay, I know this number, this is, this is the Tusk Company Air number, and so I called them back and said, hey, you know, uh, this is at McDonald. This number was on my phone, and I had seen the voicemail, and I heard it on who it was. Um, it's that person in right now, and so they called me in for an interview for tomorrow. So hopefully I get the job, because I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really needing one right now. Um, I'm kind of broke right now. I said right now it's like a, I'm living off of grandma right now. But, uh, if it weren't for her, I, I wouldn't know what I would have done. Because I can't get unemployment, because they denied me, uh, because of town and country. And, and the thing of it is, I don't want to get on disability. I'm more of like, okay, I want to get a job, stay active. You know, I'm more of a people person. I'm more of a doing the work than just staying at home doing nothing all day long and that's the thing I've been doing doing some reading and stuff on some some of my books I've been reading The Way of the Warrior The Dark Secrets of the Samurai Code lately you know just to pass up time you know learn something new you know even though I, I've already read this book but just kind of just going over some of the old notes and stuff pretty good book you know if you're wanting to know about um, it talks it talks about a lot of old traditional stuff in it but other than that you know just staying positive it's the most it's the most thing that a person can do when they're not working I know a lot of people uh, that, you know, they tell me, all my friends have been telling me, they say, what do you do, Seth, you know, when you're not working? I know a lot of people get depressed, you know, they think of suicide. But me, I don't think of suicide. I, I always keep my mind occupied. I always keep active. I always keep doing something. But the thing of it is, there are so much stuff you can do throughout the day to keep you active and keep your mind right. Keep your mind sharp, where you don't get that thought in your mind. Yeah, you know, you get tired of staring at the walls sometimes when you're not working or you're trying to figure out, okay, what do I do? You know, what do I need to do? You know, what I, what do I want to do? So, and that's the thing. And when. You know, when you don't have a job, a lot of people think, oh, this is the end of my life, this is, this is the end for me, I'm going to find another job, yada, yada, yada. You will eventually find another job. It may not be the job that you want, it may not be the job you may not like, but at least you will have something. And, and that's the thing, you just got to motivate yourself saying I will find a job, I will get somewhere, I will, you know, get better at things, you know, on this new journey, wherever you may start at, at, at a new job, or where, wherever you may, may want to do with your life. And there were two other options I thought about doing if I couldn't find a job. One was getting disability, that was one of them. And uh, two, I was honestly thinking about, you know, making a flyer and putting on billboards at different areas, you know, saying, hey, I want to teach martial arts. And, but I don't have a dojo, but I'd be willing to teach outside. I would, when I, was training Alex at the time, 
when me and him were friends. Um, he was actually my first student that I ever taught, and he was getting really good at the art of boxing. And that's what he wanted to train in was boxing. And so he didn't want to do none of the other other stuff that I did. And so I just trained him in the art of boxing, which I knew everything about it. But I told him, I said, if you want to be a fighter, you got to learn how to use other weapons besides just your hands. You gotta learn to use the elbows. You gotta learn the headbutt. You gotta learn to trap. Um, you gotta be able to learn to kick. And he didn't want to. I mean, I was teaching him some self defense and stuff. And that I learned from Krav Maga um, over the years. And, and from my Krav Maga training. And I was teaching him some tactical stuff. And that my sensei Wayne Wheeler taught me in from the Marine Corps. He taught me the Krav Maga system from the Marine Corps. And so when when he taught me that, I was trying to change my knowledge onto Alex at the time. And I did this one move on him where he threw a jab. I blocked it, he threw a cross, and I locked his arms, and like this, and he couldn't do nothing. Now I was trying to, I was trying to teach him something. I said, you know, if, what if somebody had your arms like this, where, where they're locked, and you can't do nothing. And he's like, I don't know, it's like I'm trapped. And I said, one, I said, you can headbutt. Two, you can use your knees to kick him in the, knee him in the groin. No matter what, you still have weapons to use. When, when your arms are trapped like this, you just got to be able to think to use your head a little bit. And that's what I'm trying to do more in life is to use my head has better judgment on things said just going in blindly on things and and that's the thing you know when people go in blindly on things in life they don't know really where they want to go at in life and me right now I'm just trying to figure out uh, what I'm going to do for a job next and Oh, like I said, hopefully I get this job uh, tomorrow at this interview. I'm nervous as fuck, though. But <laughs> I'm going to stay motivated. If I Even if I don't get it, I'm going to still keep pushing forward. No matter how life hits, no matter how many punches I get hit in line, just like how Rocky Balboa said, off the rock, you must keep pushing forward, keep moving forward, no matter how hard life and how hard life gets, it's on how you get back up from life and keep moving, and that's how winning is done. And he, he said to his son in that Rocky Six movie, saying saying that to his son, because his son was pointing fingers at everybody, because he was going nowhere in his life, and Rocky told him, saying, "You just need to quit pointing fingers. That's not you." You know, you got yourself to blame. And so, when I heard that speech, when I was watching that movie the other night, I, I kind of thought he was talking to me for a moment. And when I heard that speech, that, again, it, every time I hear that speech on the, off that movie, it, it, it inspires me. And Rocky is like one of the best trilogy movies that, you know, if you're, you know, if you love action movies, and if you haven't seen Rocky, all the Rockies, um, I would watch Rocky all the way up to the last one, and then turn around and watch Creed. One, two, three, 
I mean, I've seen all of them, and and that's the thing. And when when you're a boxing fan, and you always been a boxing fan, like how I have been, even though I I train in traditional martial arts, but I had studied boxing when I was a kid. I learned how to box from a friend, and I just picked it up on my own. I didn't really have no internet at the time. And he would just teach me combinations in boxing and just doing it all in the bag. And then there were times we would work out together. We would spar each other just in boxing and stuff like that. That's how I learned how to take a punch to the face for the first time. And, but then I got tired of just doing boxing. So I thought, well, I want to expand my knowledge. So I went to karate. Then I went to, <coughs> got up to black belt karate, um, and showed up on karate, um, got up to red belt in WTF karate, world traditional federation, I mean, world traditional taekwondo federation style, and then, um, uh, and after that, I just kind of, and then I went into Krav Maga, took a master's course in that, and then I studied Wing Chun for about a month, or free, and did Wing Chun Kung Fu for about a month, learned the basics of Wing Chun, and then after that, I trained with a friend that did, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at the time, so it's like I was learning all these different arts, trying to combine my own system, and that's another reason why I decided to make my system up into Jeet Kune Kwan, and because it it's a it's a style of Jeet Kune Do concepts. It's a style of Kempo based karate, whatever you want to call it. Um, Shotokan karate, because Kemp means using the hands however you want. But Jikun Jeet means the way of the philosophy of fighting and the way of the intercepting fist from Bruce Lee. Kemp means Kempo, it means style of karate. And then Kwan means the kicking art. The reason why I didn't put Do at the end, because I really don't have a way of a system. It's just all the stuff I've learned over the years, uh, you know, from instructors, from friends, from training camps, to tournaments, uh, to uh, learning out of books on different styles, uh, training at home off videos, training on off of YouTube, you know, learning different things on YouTube. I'm actually learning another style off of YouTube, uh, but I haven't really mastered it yet, but I'm trying to get more information on it. Um, it's an eternal art of Zing Yi Kwan boxing style of Kung Fu. And I have a book on it. I've been studying on it. And I've been also reading on the book uh, the Pre Northern Pre Mansion style. Um, I've been trying to study that as well. Um, but the thing of it is, I'm not used to Chinese martial arts. I'm always used to like um, Western arts, Japanese arts, and a little bit of Kung Fu, but not a whole lot, because Wing Chun is Kung Fu no matter what. Um, a lot of people say, oh, it's not Kung Fu, but to me it is, because it, it was, even though it was based off of a woman that made up the style, and then later on, it Man got taught by this woman that was a nun, and then later on, Bruce Lee made the style famous. And because he was It Man's number one student. And 
But no matter what in life or life takes you, you learn no matter what how to observe things and if it if it happens for a reason you can't control it uh, you just gotta let it happen because only one person can control it is God and that's the only person that can control your destiny and where you want to be at in life and and that's the thing and because he he's in charge of your life where you need to be at where he wants you to go and but most of all you are in, in charge of your own destiny on what choices on what choices you want to approve on in life. So, I mean, for the most part, I'm not letting this job, not, not, not having a job bother me that much. I mean, I do get a lot of thoughts on my mind. You know, if I don't find one, what am I going to do? If I, you know, if I don't get one, what am I going to do, you know, for work and stuff like that. And, and that's the thing, it's just, I don't want to be living off my grandma down the road for the rest of my life. And I'm 37 years old. I'm a grown man. I need to be able to get a job and make money for myself instead of trying to live off someone. And that's just how I've always been when I was a kid. I never really tried to ask for money unless if I really needed it. Um, and I've always paid my friends back when I needed it, needed it. And it may take a while to get them paid back, but at least they would always get paid back. And that's the thing. It's just, uh, that's just how I am. That's just how I'm always going to be, and, uh, and that's the thing, you know, um, it, you know, no matter what in life, don't let things bother you too much, just try to, just let things happen, and if things happen, it happens for a reason, because, you really can't control it. So when it does happen, you just gotta learn to accept it, move on, keep moving moving on, and no matter what. Please subscribe, please hit the bell, hit all the bell, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. And it's just like I said, it's just a little advice on like if you're not working or if you're having financial problems it's just you know or if you're having relationship problems whatever it may be it, it's just the fact that no matter where life takes you if it happens for a reason it just happens for a reason and so dirty had it Try not to get stressed out over things. Stay calm. Train hard. Train smart. Do your research. And like I said, God bless y'all. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to my channel. And I just want you to know. You guys mean a lot to me. You guys keep me striving every day. To try to come up with different ideas. For my videos. And everything else. So. Like I said. Train hard. Train smart. Do your research. And like I said, God bless and be safe and be healthy for the most part and stay active, stay strong, but mostly stay mentally tough. And so there you have it. God bless. Take care. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.